What's up guys, it's your girl Bianca B and welcome back to my channel. So in this episode of the Bianca B Show, I really want to focus on learning more about me. I feel like viewers do not know enough. Of course you've seen my vlogs, but I felt like my vlog with the mental breakdown, people related to it. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to, you know, share more of my life and insecurities and things you don't know about. So, please continue watching. Uh-huh, yes. Okay, so Bianca, what is your favorite color? What is my favorite color? Purple. Okay, why purple? I like purple because it's royalty. If you really know the meaning, you look up the meaning of purple. It's like queen, royalty. It just defines my personality all in one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, what is one of your biggest fears or your phobias? Ooh, my biggest fear is being alone. Like not getting married or not having kids, like being by myself. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, what about who's your favorite celebrity crush? Oh, my favorite celebrity crush is Idris Elba. Hmm, any other people? Like you said, celebrity crush? Yeah. That's it, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Just him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enough man for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is your favorite book or quote? My favorite book besides mine, like, no, my favorite book is The Secret. Whenever I'm feeling down, I always go back to that book. Like that book is like my version of the Bible. And I love the Bible too. Shout out to the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> What's one of your favorite quotes? One of my favorite quotes is, you are who you hang around. Mm. I don't have lipstick in my teeth yet. I'm good. Okay, cool. Okay, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is my birthday. Like, since I was little, my birthday is like very special to me. I will announce it three months in advance, two weeks in advance, two days in advance, two hours in advance. I love my birthday. Wow. November 17th. Yeah, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio. Um, what is the last lie that you told? What was the last lie that I told? Damn. What was the last lie that I told? Uh, probably, I don't know, I'm gonna make this up. Probably that I missed somebody and I really didn't. <laughs> Burn. Okay. Um, what's your favorite city besides New York? Oh, <laughs> my favorite city besides New York and LA is Atlanta. I love Atlanta. The party scene, I had a blast. Okay. Um, <laughs> what were your first thoughts when waking up this morning? What were my first thoughts while waking up this morning? Sorry, Grandma, but I didn't feel like picking you up, girl, today. <laughs> I did not feel like it. <laughs> No, no, I, I take that back. I went to the gym at 5 a.m. this morning and I really procrastinated on going. So I take that back. I love you, Grandma, but yeah, the gym for sure. <laughs> what is one of your biggest insecurities and what are you doing to fix this struggle with this particular in insecurity? My biggest insecurity is probably my weight. I feel like I've always juggled with my weight and body image. And since I'm becoming vegan with my best friend Christopher, shout out to him speaking, um, I feel like I feel more confident in my body, but that has always been one of my major insecurities. Wow. So actually what was very fitting to this is, why are you going vegan is the next question. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> I am going vegan because honestly, one of the days is vegan, so because <laughs> I want to say like official but like he is vegan and he's convinced me to go vegan and so since my best friend came out here I know that he's the only person that will actually do it with me so we did it together and I actually love being vegan and I love dairy like I love eggs I love milk if y'all don't know um so it was really hard to give up dairy not gonna lie so we on day 10 or day 9? We on day 10. We, we are on day 10. <laughs> Doing well. Um, if, you could ah. <laughs> if you could hypnotize anyone in the world, who would it be? I think I already know the answer to this question. If I could hypnotize anybody, who would it be? Godfather? <laughs> no. Who? I was thinking Original Bay. 
act accordingly. Uh, if I could hypnotize him, yeah, I, I think I would. So, Bay. His would you do Bay or Idris Elba or Idris Elba? Which one would you hypnotize if you had an option? Idris Elba for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and the last question is, what is actually? There's two more. Um, what is your dream job? My dream job is to be my own boss officially. If I could be my own boss and just be on television, run my production office, have good people around me, good energy, and going to work happy, like that's my dream job, honestly. To wake up happy and to enjoy what I do and be around people that I love. Wow. That's D, right? This one is going to be your favorite. Um, what is one of your biggest pet peeves? My biggest pet peeves is when people are late I hate when people are late like that really irks my skin because I respect people's time and I like wish people would respect other people's time like ugh, that bothers me when people are late literally yeah that is irritating and yeah. lastly um <laughs> what are three of your like favorite makeup go-to's like which you know tools do you use the most like your ones that you feel are the best for you Ew, honey. My favorite, like, wait, repeat it. My go-to. <laughs> what are your three go-tos, like, when you're, like, in a hurry and, like, a 15-minute beat? Oh, beat. My three go-to makeup looks are foundation, eyebrows, and lipstick. And I'm set. Do you have a favorite brand that you use? Ooh, I really like the Carly. I always feel like I say her last name wrong. Bible, or... Bible, I think that's her last name. Carly Bible, I love her palette. I feel like that's my go-to like palette. Even though I didn't mention eyeshadow, but that is like my go-to right now. And my Missy Land highlight. Oh shit, if I had to choose, oh, ooh. Foundation, ooh. Foundation, highlight, and lipstick, so I take it back. Mm -hmm. Because my eyebrows are growing out already since I've been getting them threaded better, so I don't even have to do much filling. She so. has hair. I have hair. <laughs> okay, is that it? Yeah. Okay, what's next? <laughs> okay, so in 60 seconds. Okay. Name words that starts with a B. Ready, set, go. Beautiful, black, Bianca, B, uh, brilliant, bagel, uh, basketball, Britney Spears, uh, baseball, uh, bicycling, uh, bike bike, uh, uh, shit, uh, bowling ball, uh, Bible, uh, boobs, boobs, uh, big, 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 uh, uh, Beyonce, ooh, how did I forget Beyonce? Beyonce, uh, uh, pa packaging is with a P. Uh, Bianca. I said that. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Where am I? At? Seven seconds. Okay. Booty. Uh, booty. <laughs> booty. Uh, bougie. bougie. Bad. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I was like, banging. I know banging. I thought you were banging. It's just like bicycling. <laughs> And then I was like, I was like, and she was like, boo, boo, and she was like, bitch. <laughs> okay. So another season of the Bianca show is coming up. I'm about yes. to do big things. Now, before, what is your favorite episode? My favorite Bianca B show episode, I would have to say Kel Mitchell. And the reason why I say that is because it was like a full, like, script of the show and how the show would be run if it was on television on a YouTube channel like a YouTube series or a network like that's how the show would be ran so I, I think Kel Mitchell was one of my favorite Bianca B show interviews now what is your most embarrassing shoot or embarrassing on camera my most embarrassing on camera moment has to be uh, probably episodes we didn't release or like old episodes because my accent was so strong. I remember um, my thesis teacher, he was like, you need to take those episodes down. <laughs> so I took them down. So it's like old episodes people have never seen or have seen, but they're gone. Your, your uh, guest wish list for the show. My guest wish list for the Bianca B show, and if y'all know them, <laughs> 
skip them my email, okay? Um, I'll have to say Big Sean. I have never inter interviewed him, but I have met him a few times. Um, who else? Ooh! I really want to interview Big Sean. Uh, who else? Fuck, I can't think. Why can't I think of people? Ah! Who else? Uh, who do I love? Pia Mia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's cool. Um, I would definitely want to interview like Migos, yeah. Ray Sherman, uh, Nicki Minaj. Ray Sherman, I was actually supposed to interview them before they blew up. Uh, Black China, I still want to sit down with her. Um, I definitely want to interview um, Zendaya. I feel like she's like really amazing. Um, really would love to just get her energy and her vibe. And I actually met her, so she was like, her energy and spirit is just so good. Um, who else? Who else? <laughs> I know, we've like so yeah, many Yeah, there's so many people in the world that I just went blank. But just people who are like doing stuff in the world, like someone who has an influence and someone who is also misunderstood too. Like. I really, that's why I really want to interview Black China because Black China doesn't talk a lot. She, you just know her just from publicity and like a little bit of the show, but I still felt like you really didn't get the real her. So if I could interview Black China, I would really interview her. Yeah. All right. And what's to come for the Bianca B show? The Bianca B show, my ultimate goal by next year, my 25th um, birthday, I really want to have my own office space where I can shoot daily and have a team of people like the people that I already work with where, where I'm paying them. So that's my ultimate goal. Um, and just to be consistent in my numbers to, you know, go up on YouTube. I feel like YouTube is, like I said on social media in one of my videos, that YouTube is one of the hardest target audience to get and to get subscribers if you aren't doing beauty and reviews and all of that. So it's, it's really hard. So. YouTube subscribers and just being popping. If I could be on a network, a YouTube channel, that would be lit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And your favorite producer? Maureen! <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, we done? Yeah, okay, it. so thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions you want to ask me, please comment below. I do respond back. Thank you guys for watching this video. Shout out to my girl, Jay Antoinette, for doing my hair. Yes, she's slid. I love this little queen vibe. Also, shout out to Jamika for sending me this choker. She's absolutely amazing. Her chokers and jewelry is always popping. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Bianca B. Also, YouTube.com slash Bianca B Show. Bye, guys. Bianca B, B.